Hello everyone and welcome to our 30-day growth challenge devotional. My name is Christopher Morgan and I'm one of the pastors here at the Wayward Outreach. And today we're going to be looking at the in the book of James, chapter 2, 1 through 4. Yesterday we saw an amazing teaching, live teaching by our very own Pastor Marco Garcia on the book of James, chapter 1, verse 26 and 27. And what we learned is what true religion really looks like. So today, let's go ahead and just dive right in. And as I get started here, I'm going to read this portion of scripture to you first, and then we'll go back and break it down. So it says in verse 1, My dear brothers and sisters, how can you claim to have faith in our glorious Lord and Savior, our glorious Lord Jesus Christ, if you favor some people over others. For example, suppose someone comes into your meeting dressed in fancy clothes and expensive jewelry, and another comes in who is poor and dressed in dirty clothes. If you give special attention and go in, and a good seat to the rich person, but you say to the poor one, you can stand over there or else sit on the floor. Well, doesn't this discrimination show that your judgment, your judgments are guided by evil motives? Although this scripture, this portion of scripture was written by James over 2000 years ago, we can still see a lot of this happening today in the world, at our workplaces, but also in the church, not our church, but in the church in general. So James was writing this at a time when, at a time when it, was, it was full of prejudice. There was huge separation. And we look here, there was hatred based on class, ethnicity, nationality, and religious backgrounds. You were categorized by being Greek or Jew, I mean Jew or Gentile, slave or free, poor or rich, Greek or barbarian, male or female. And it was funny because this is, these are the very things that Jesus worked, these walls that, that mankind have put up. Jesus came to tear these things down. So let's dive in, start breaking this down. In verse 1, it says, My dear brothers and sisters, who is James talking to right here? This is a warning and he's telling the Christian, the Christian Jews, the believers that were very much guilty of this to not be a respecter of person, one over another. He is saying, do not operate in partiality or favoritism. Why? Let's continue in the scripture. It says, how can you claim to have faith in our, in our glorious Lord Jesus Christ if you favor some people over others? Look at our faith is tied to our actions, especially in how we treat one another. So if we say that we are children of God, then shouldn't we represent our father correctly? Our faith should never be seen with discrimination towards anyone. I looked up the word partiality and it says this, it is unfair bias in favor of one thing or one person compared with another. Favoritism, a particular liking or fondness for something over another. The truth is God doesn't favor us one over another, and neither should we. Let's continue, verse 2 and 3. It says, for example, I love the way John, or James starts this off. For example, why do you think he says that? He's saying, just in case you don't understand, let me show you exactly what this looks like. It says, suppose someone comes into your meeting dressed in fancy clothes and expensive jewelry and another comes in who is poor and dressed in dirty clothes. If you give special attention and a good seat to the rich person, but you say to the poor one, you can stand over there or else you can sit on the floor. I looked up what this, this, this really looks like, partiality looks like in this portion of scripture with the Bible's definition of it. And it says this, Partiality re reflects judging or showing favoritism based on external appearance, motivated by hope of personal gain. A lot of us never, may have never even seen it as that. 
a motive by hope or personal gain. Before we begin to pass judgment on our brothers and sisters way back then, I want you to ask yourselves this. Have I ever been guilty of doing this? Have I ever been guilty of treating a, a person higher than another, treating somebody better because of something that we thought that we could get out of it? And I bet if you're truly honest with yourselves, every single one of us is guilty of this at one point or another. But look here. God views these thoughts as evil and the actions that follow them as well. And just as their evil thoughts were evident of their, their partiality of their actions, so are ours. To show partiality shows that we care more for the outward appearance than we do for the heart, which separates us from having vision like God's. In 1 Samuel 16, 7, it says this, for the Lord does not see as man sees. For man looks at the outward appearance, but the Lord looks at the heart. So God looks at the heart, so should we. To show partiality shows that we misunderstand who is important and blessed in the sight of God. When we assume that the rich man is more important to God or more blessed by God, we put too much value on the material things. We can tend to favor what we believe to be a rich and successful person over someone we believe to be less than because we believe that we can get more from them. The truth is, when we are doing this, we have truly lost sight of God's purpose. The church is a hospital for the broken. To care for the, the rejected, the hurt, the lost, and the broken not to make them feel worse. Us as believers shouldn't be representations of the world inside the church, but to lead people to Christ through his love, not to tear them down by our prejudice. I want to give you an example. My testimony is I didn't come from the church or grew up in the church or, or anything near it. When I came into the walls of the church, I, I was still dealing with a whole lot of hurt and brokenness and pain and anger and violence and all kinds sorts of things. Overcoming addiction. I didn't always wear a smile like I do today. But there was somebody in the church that spotted me out and they came up and they called me this. They said, hey, man of God. It was something new to me. She said this. She said, God absolutely loves you, and he has great purpose for you. There was something inside of me that broke at that moment. And if it wasn't for her coming up and seeing past what I looked like at the moment and speaking life into me, I don't know where I'd be today. So understand the purpose. It, this, this, how you view people and judge people is tied, could be tied to their purpose. So in verse 4, it says this, well, well, doesn't this discrimination show that your judgments are guided by evil motives? I love how, how we're ending with this, and it's a question, right? He leaves it in our court to come to an understanding that if we act in this manner, it is not of God. And that we have a choice to recognize and change our ways or continue in them and be in sin. I hope, you've been, I hope you've enjoyed diving into this portion of scripture with me today. And as you can see, this passage provides us with some incredibly important foundational truths of, for our faith that I know that I've changed my perspective on how I walk my faith out. And I hope that it begins to help you with yours. So before you go today, I'd like to encourage you to take a moment to comment in this video below with anything that you may have learned or anything that you may have found helpful. And definitely share it with everyone and everybody you know. Tomorrow our study will continue in the book of James and we'll go and dive into James 2, 5 through 9. You do not want to miss it. So before you go, let's go ahead and pray. Lord, first of all, I just want to thank you. Thank you for loving us regardless of our mistakes. 
that, that the mistakes that we have made. And because you loved us, help us to love others. Fill us with your compassion and your love and teach us how to treat one another, to see past the outward appearance and help us if there's anything in us that's holding on to favoritism, we ask that you would let it go. Help us to let it go. In Jesus' name we pray, amen.